A part of why I love surfing so much is I think in ways it kind of chose me. The water has actually been something that has been really uncomfortable for me. You know, the conditions could be windy, the water was freezing, like I'd rather just stay in my own comfort zone. I think even today, I'm still constantly put in positions out there that I'm uncomfortable with. But there's something about conquering that element that is exciting to me. My name is Sage Erickson and I'm a professional surfer. I mean, getting into surfing for me came a little bit later than maybe your average professional surfer. Um, I started at 10. I grew up in Ojai, California, small town, about 30 minutes from the beach. Um, grew up in a coffee shop that my mom and grandma ran. And at 10, when we moved to the North Shore of Oahu, there wasn't much to do besides be in the water. The surfing just became like everyone and her friends were all having a great time and it's like she'd watched her brother surfing when he was younger in California so the passion just started burning to get out in the water. Well surfing for me has kind of always been an uncomfortable place which sounds funny because that's what I do for a living. And I naturally feel more comfortable around land. Being from Ojai, it's an inland, cute country town surrounded by beautiful mountains and rivers. And I think you can create your world around a comfortable place and you get to choose what that looks like. But I think as people, we're, we're meant to be challenged. I have people ask me all the time how I can read the ocean. And I always bring it back to the mountains. That's probably because I'm from a small mountain town. It's like you can see these rolling hills coming in and you're gonna know that once it hits some sort of the sandbar or the reef, it's gonna have an apex to it and that's gonna be where the best wave is. Where you can kind of look out to the horizon and see those rolling lines, you can navigate actually where you're gonna go. For sure, style is an extension of yourself, especially when surfing. I don't have a very aggressive style. In contests, sometimes that's been a downfall. They really like an aggression and a committed look. Even though I can be standing tall more, or my arms are a different place, that to me looks a little bit more graceful, but to others it looks uncommitted. When you connect with a wave, there's nothing really like it. You're out on this variable surface of something that is constantly changing, right? To try and figure out how you can have a part of that is wild. I think that's what's so special about the ocean is there's so many emotions to it. So every day it's different. And so I love that that changes, just like people change. The whole time I'm out there, it does get kind of lonely, but that's why I bring such incredible friends. Alana has been my best friend since I was 10. Over the years, she's established more of this creative side with photography. Um, she's now the head of my social media. And I always felt like Having somebody that really knew me um, made sense because I never want to put anything out there that doesn't speak to who I am. I mean, between Alana and Willie, they pretty much got me. Willie's one of my other amazing friends that shoots a lot of my content. And between both of them, I think they're my full-time partner on tour. Lucy is my feisty Brazilian friend. She's got so much passion, fire. She believes in me so much. 
I push her as much as I can. I'm not an amazing surfer like she is, but I try to like take videos of her in the water when she's on the water so she can look at it and I will give her some scores. I'll kind of judge her. I was like, you got to go out there and you got to catch, you know, two waves in 30 minutes and I time her. And then I'll just be yelling at her like, go over that way or, you know, it's, you got a six on that wave. That wasn't that good. You got to go harder. I wouldn't be the competitor or the surfer or person I am without them. I love to garden and I love to be outside during lunch. Originally when I got this house, it was just completely dirt back there and not much life or vegetation. So I think I've overdone it with the amount of plants. I still have like no room. And then if the waves are good, I'll go surfing. But if it's not, then I've got a pretty cool home gym that I like to work out in. Boxing to me uh, changed the way that I approach competing because it, it kind of naturally, you have to have that grit. And a lot of times when I get really deep into a boxing workout, I'm actually visualizing competing. <sighs> I love carrying that same feeling into my everyday life. So where do I want to see Sage go from here? I would like to see her meet her goals. She is always seeking, like, what's next in her life. The future for me at this point looks like a world champion. I want to gear my life towards winning competitively again. I have that fire to go to be in the top five on the world tour. Anything she does, she's gonna succeed. So I'm just gonna be there tagging along and riding that wave with her. And I want to serve freely and I want to compete freely and I want to do what I want because I know that it's a good thing. And I think with that mentality, I'll find the future that I'm looking for.